Peggy 12. Welcome to Sony PlayStation's The Science Behind the Magic. I'm Steve Mould, I'm a scientist, and I'm going to show you some of the science behind the game Sorcery. In this game, you play Finn, and you have along with you a sidekick called Erline, who is a talking cat. And sometimes they go to dangerous places and get in trouble, and they unleash some very powerful magic. And he needs to figure out how to use his wits and to use his magic to get out of tricky situations. So he's got his wand and he can move things around and he starts to learn how to command the elements like fire and wind and ice and lightning. But I want to show you how you can do some of that magic in real life. In Sorcery, Finn uses his wand to move things around. And as the player, you're using the move controller, so it's like you've got your own wand as well. But how might the wand in the game work? It might be that it's using electricity. I've got a wand here that I can use to generate electric charge. So when I press this button here, it creates a positive electric charge in the wand and I can use it to transfer that charge to other things. So I've got a filament here, and by touching them together, I can transfer a positive electric charge to the filament. And when you've got two objects that both have a positive charge, they'll repel each other. So I should be able to move this filament around using the repulsive electric force between the two. Here we go. So you can see the positive charge in the filament is being repelled from the positive charge in the wand. And I can use that science to move this thing around. And that is my version of a magic wand. In the game, Finn learns to command the wind and he uses it as a weapon against his enemies. But what if you wanted to fire air at someone in real life? How could you do that? I suppose you could give it a push or something like that. We could try that here, see if we can knock over this scroll. Okay, here we go. Give the air a push. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not really working. Um, but you can do it. You just have to form the air in a certain way so that it doesn't break down as it's traveling. And there is a way to do that. You create a, a circular vortex. And all you need is a special cannon uh, called a vortex cannon or a smoke ring cannon. I've got one here. And I should be able to knock down this scroll quite easily. Yes. And so that is how I would fire air at someone. Lightning is one of the six main spells in sorcery, but what is lightning in real life? Well, it's basically loads and loads of electricity passing through the air. And you know about electricity, you've got it in your home, it passes through the wires in your home, but you'll never see electricity jumping from one wire to another wire in your house. And the reason you don't see that is because air is a really bad conductor of electricity. So if I want to make electricity jump between these two rods of metal, I'm going to need to push really, really hard. And that means getting a really high voltage. So the voltage between these two bits of metal is 40 times greater than the voltage in your house. So we should be able to get the electricity to jump from one to the other. Let's see. So there you go, electricity jumping through the air in real life. Finn is able to freeze rivers in sorcery, and freezing happens when water goes below zero degrees, but it doesn't happen straight away. 
water needs a little bit of encouragement to turn into ice. And so I've got some water here that's below freezing, but hasn't yet turned into ice. And the encouragement I can give it is to pour it over some ice that already exists, and hopefully the crystals will grow over the ice. Let's see. That's pretty cool. And so that is how you can freeze water that goes below zero degrees.